Okay, here we are at another um, scenic Portland location, and um, what I want to do now is illustrate what I was talking about before uh, in terms of um, dreams being transmitted through uh, uh, radio waves through these um, uh, transponder implants that are in your head and all around, you know, in your in your throat and teeth and um, so there's a dream from 1988, it's from February uh, February 10th, 1980, 1988 I mislabeled it 87, um, but it was February so sometimes that happens at the beginning of the year um, oh there's a spider on my journal <laughs> The other thing that the transponders in my body do sometimes is they actually are attuned to attract insects. Um, so sometimes I have bees and landing on my cheeks and crashing into me and stuff. Um, but anyways, I, yeah, I got stung a lot by bees as a kid. Um, and yellow jackets. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read this dream. And one way you know, I mean, all my dreams pretty much were program dreams, but one way you know probably it's a program dream is if you fall asleep. This is a dream. I, I maybe had this dream in like a 15 minute time period, I think. Yeah. Yeah, this dream took, this dream, I fell asleep for 15 minutes and I had this elaborate dream, so that's not normally 15 minutes isn't enough time to get into the you know rapid eye movement cycle that we, where you would normally dream so okay and then the first the person in the first paragraph is named Chris in the stream and I, it's a female I think that that's actually some somebody that was at my college I really am not sure who it was but I think it was a woman in my college and I think to be honest I think that the it's the same name as my um, boyfriend and I think that actually it was a reference to my boyfriend because I was supposed to meet him eventually um, and I believe that this dream, all in all, is about the Nazi influence on both him and I, um, probably that came through Operation Paperclip and these mind control programs. So here's the dream. I hold up paper waste. Does this go in the compost? I ask Chris. No, she says. I meant recycling. They're speaking German. Someone has been in the house, destroyed things. One woman is walking around with her head chopped off, hanging by a thread. She looks at the yard. Even the grass is ruffled, she says. They ruffled the grass. Someone has come and done this. I am sexually attracted to this woman and another girl in the house. I don't know who's been here. I think this woman is going insane because her head is chopped off. And besides, how could she see anyway with her head like that? Besides that, I know it's a dream. So I don't care. I realize it's a dream, so I can do what I want have fun, but I have to keep my mind in the dream world and not come back to the room. I start down the stairs where there is a mirror on the wall. I almost pass the mirror, almost afraid to look into it, but I want to look into it and I do. When I have, I'm sorry. My face is shockingly horrible looking. My face is huge, wide and bloated. My eyes abnormally small and far apart and the rest of my features too. I have almost no hair, like a tiny fine crew cut. I'm startled, but since it's only a dream, I know I can change my face. I concentrate and my hair begins to grow, but it's too late. I've been startled out of my dream. I wake up. And then I write, I had this dream after being awake since 4 a.m. and falling asleep for 15 minutes at 7.30. When I was awoken at 4.30, I was having dreams of mixing paint. So in other words, I woke up or at four o'clock. So I woke up at four o'clock having dreams of mixing paint. Uh, and then I fell asleep again at 7.30 for 15 minutes and that's when I had this dream. And that was February 10th, 1988. Um, now, a couple things happened this year that reminded me of this dream. The first one was um, in April I was getting really badly burned with microwaves overnight, and uh, these burns happen in a matter of moments, you know, but they were burning me overnight, so I'd wake up in the morning and my face would be all burnt to hell, and um, my eyes would be burnt, and um, 
on a uh, I have a photographic record because I took a picture every every morning, you know, more or less, you know, when something significant happened anyway, when this was going on. And um, April 26, I looked pretty bad, but, uh, you know, I wasn't happy, definitely. Um, but April 27th, I slept uh, late, I think, I kind of remember this, I, um, I was sleeping soundly, you know, and um, probably had been zapped out. and. I awoke, like I said before, when I wake with a song in my head, especially a song that I haven't been exposed to lately, it's been put there by an external source. So I woke with a song in my head and it was uh, Joe Cocker, You Are So Beautiful. And I had, it was like this really nice feeling, like I was like, oh, that's a, you know, a nice song to have in your head when you wake up, you know, and I was, I had been feeling bad because of how bad my face had been burnt. And um, so I just kind of got up all half sleepy and this is what I saw. This, this right here. And you probably aren't going to see it, so I'm going to, when I go home, I might edit this so that you actually see what, what it looks like. It was, it's basically what my dreams, what my dream showed, which was my face was all burnt. It was swollen looking at, underneath my eyes, it was all swollen. Um, my eyes were red and small. And um, my face was bloated looking. So I thought of the dream because I, I had recently been through my journals and I had seen that dream. Um, and then, you know, they continued to kind of off and on just burn my face in all different ways all through April and, and May. And, you know, I mean, obviously my face is still messed up. Not nearly as bad as it had been. Um, you know, a couple times in June real bad. Um... But a few weeks ago, I had a dream that actually recalled this dream in another way, which was I had this thought in my head, just like in this first dream, I can do what I want, it's just a dream. And um, it was a dream of water running down the sidewalk, which I had seen after a cloudburst. Uh, and that water running, and I wanted to just walk in the water. And I didn't care if I got wet, because it was a dream. And uh, the water on the sidewalk actually links to several other things, so I won't get into that. But that's kind of how these dreams are at least being used now, is they link up in different ways and, and, and it's like a memory trigger. Um, but back then I feel like, you know, with the short crew cut and all that stuff and the, you know, the, the speaking German, I feel like it was a reference to uh, some of this, the Nazi influence in this mind control. And this, uh, actually after I, I took a photograph of this dream in the journal and like the day, I, I don't know if it was the day I took the photograph or the day after, I walked, I passed a guy walking down the street and he had a t-shirt on and it showed a blonde woman with a fine blonde crew cut. And she had over her mouth and neck a scarf. And the scarf had this big wide open mouth on it. Almost as if her neck was a giant wide open mouth. And so in the dream the woman's head is hanging from a thread. And so it kind of looked like my dream. Almost as if he had known that I had photographed the dream. And almost as if the person who had made the t-shirt was aware of the dream which I personally believe they were. Um, and uh, I guess that's basically all I wanted to say about that dream is, uh, you know, it's an example of how... Um, oh, the other thing I want to say is sometimes... Sometimes I think in my dreams, if it's something really disturbing, uh, a factual thing that's really disturbing about me. They sometimes make it about somebody else, like an, an anom anonymous woman, and that actually happened in a dream I had last night. Um, you know, and I knew it was supposed to be about me. I think this woman with her head coming off, you know, was at least partly supposed to be about um, me and uh, sort of the, the place of what mind control is doing to um, not just me, but, you know, everyone around me and the whole situation that I'm in.